Okay, here we have a fairly typical trig identities question and solving trig equations. Um, nothing too taxing here. Uh, first, we have to turn this equation here into this one. Well, I've copied it out up here, so let's start operating on it. There's a tan. There's no tans in the final thing, so I'm going to get rid of my tan by changing it to sine over cos, or sine x over cos x. So let's do that first. I've changed nothing else in that equation. Now, I spot that there's no fractions in the answer, so I'm going to times by cos x on both sides to eliminate this fraction. Note that this is only there was only one term on the left-hand side of the equation. So when I multiply it by cos x, it's gone completely from the left-hand side. I don't need to times this bit by cos x as well. I'm timesing this whole term once by cos x. So we're just left with 2 sin x, sin x on the left, and on the right, the cos x becomes cos squared x, and the 5 becomes 5 cos x. Now, the left-hand side, this is clearly 2 sine squared x. Right, I then note that I've got no sines in this final answer, so I'm going to change my sine squared into 1 minus cos squared, using the standard identity, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. OK, expanding that bracket... And if we move everything then onto the right-hand side of the equation, I've got essentially the final answer. They'd give you the marks for that. You don't need to write that. You don't need to put the equals naught on the other side. It's fine. OK, hence solve the equation. Hence means we can use our previous result. And if you look carefully, this whole thing here is exactly the same as this, but with x equals 2 theta. So the easiest way to deal with this is just to carry on with this and solve it for x. And then we'll just use this to work out what theta must be. So I've rewritten that equation over here in this space. It's a disguised quadratic, and it factorises like so. That allows us to write cos x equals a third, or cos x equals minus 2. Cos x equals minus 2 has no solutions, but cos x equals a third has a principal value of 70.5 degrees. And for cos uh, equations, if you then you can do 360 minus that to get a secondary value. Brilliant. There's our two solutions for x. And I've just noticed, I haven't written this down, but just so you're aware, because x is 2 theta, we're solving for values of theta between 0 and 180. And therefore, effectively, we're solving for values of 2 theta, which is our x, between 0 and 360, which is why I know I can stop with just these two solutions, because any other one will be out of that range. Great. So if 2 theta is equal to those two things, theta must be equal to half of each of those.